We are sitting in the exhibition Ai Weiwei According to What. It's curated by Mami Katoaka from the Mori Art Museum in Tokyo, Japan. And it has traveled from Japan to Washington, D.C. and now it is here in Indianapolis. Ai Weiwei is a very well-known contemporary artist who's based in China and in recent years he's been uh, best known for his political activity and his activism. But a lot of Americans don't know necessarily what his art is and he is first and foremost uh, an artist. China has experienced decades of modernization now and their cities have really been transformed dramatically and a lot of Ai Weiwei's work thinks about that and thinks about what modernization means and what it means to uh, discard history and discard antiquities and uh, to, to move quickly toward modernization and what is lost in that process. And those are issues that I think are very much relevant to us here. There's also quite a few works in the show that concern the 2008 Sichuan earthquake um, that occurred. and. Um, I has done several works that think about that tragedy and try to memorialize the many school children who died uh, during the earthquake in poorly constructed schoolhouses. He visited the region very soon after the earthquake and took a lot of photographs there. Um, and in the rubble you, you see in these photographs um, children's backpacks and he was very moved by that. Straight is 38 tons of rebar, and it's rebar that I salvaged from destroyed schoolhouses in the Sichuan province and transported to his studio and worked with metal workers to uh, laboriously straighten them out. And those, that rebar has then traveled to the United States for this exhibition and arrived in many crates, and it took many days of work and a lot of people to install 38 tons of rebar on our floor. But, uh, but what we have uh, from, that, from that labor is a very powerful piece. And I think it's very important and powerful to make very far away disasters personal for people here and to think about um, the, the individuals and not, um, not sort of the mass of, of a nation. Um, you know, we, Americans think about China as this enormous country, but of course it's a place just like here, full of individuals and um, works such as this list of names um, that is in this gallery with us uh, memorialize each and every child who died um, in a schoolhouse in that earthquake. The exhibition title is According to What, which is a question, and I think his works do ask a lot of questions. Some of his more provocative pieces, such as Dropping a Han Dynasty Urn, for example, are very clearly and overtly provocative. He's dropping um, this, this valuable uh, historic object that has meaning to a lot of people. But I think what that piece is communicating, or what it should communicate, is that um, we, we as a culture and we as individuals make decisions all the time about what we keep and what we discard as we move forward throughout history. And I think when temples are being dismantled, when entire neighborhoods are being raised and replaced with more modern concrete structures and high rises, uh, these questions are important to ask and they're important to, to wonder what we value as, as a culture and as individuals. And I think dropping an urn and destroying it is certainly a very overt way of, of asking that question. But I think he, he's intentionally provocative. Um, but he wants to um, jar people out of, out of stasis to, to consider these important questions. If you Google Ai Weiwei, you will be overwhelmed by the amount of information available on his work. Uh, and I think, I think that knowledge of him and what he's done 
um, deepens your appreciation for the work, but also I think if you come in without any knowledge at all of him or his work, you can still be really moved by the issues he's bringing attention to, but also the craftsmanship of much of his work. And there's a lot here. There's many different ways to approach it. I think a main takeaway from this exhibition is the question that the title of the exhibition poses, um, according to what. I think a lot of the works ask the question, what is art, um, what is valuable, who, who determines what is valuable, and that applies to our buildings, our cultural heritage, our artwork, um, how we memorialize the past. I think these are very universal questions um, that he's bringing up and I, I hope that when people come to this exhibition they actually leave with more questions than they arrived with. I think that that will be a successful visit. Mm -hmm.